All right, all right, all right. Let's go get ruined. Donkey Kong Country ruins. How you doing? This is numero seven o. That's not an attempt at Spanish. Well, as long as we get our wrist strap, I guess we can go anywhere we want. It's kind of like the Nintendo forcing you to use a handcuff to be like, play like this or else. And I'll be like, nah, man. Oh, you know what's funny? Recently on the Switch Online stuff, I looked into the uh, N64 thing, and um, when you load up Mario Party, it'll actually give you the, like, Mario Party 1, it'll actually give you the warning about using your joystick a certain way. Like, it comes up as, like, a extra warning at the top of your screen. Just for Mario Party 1. Because I think that's continued from, like, a, the, a lawsuit they had about that. I actually remember that being a, a thing. Like, I don't know if I remember the lawsuit, but I remember that problem happening and hearing about gloves being sent out to people. <laughs> That was interesting. Oh yeah, we got these like chickens on stilts. For some reason. Aha! There's something over in that direction. How would you know to look? Well, I've learned in any 2D platformer, you should always check to see if you can go behind some the, the start first. You never know. It's bound to happen. Oh, I see. The stilts are made of bamboo. Bamboo on the beach! Uh... Okay. I guess Japanese beach. Except this is even... This is not that. This is ruins from possibly South America, possibly somewhere in Africa. I don't actually know. Because, you know, I thought Congo. But... Alright. Alright. Gotta slam it. Gotta slam it more. Slam it! That's great. You done slammed it. Oh, yo. Here's a blue fire guy. He's slightly annoying. But he can be blown like a gas. He's hotter than red fire. When your red is so hot, it becomes blue. You're like, oh, shit. You ever see fires in various colors, depending on their chemicals? Yeah, for those, you just hold on to the rope till it's done. It's a kind of mid-air switch, I guess. It's the Donkey Kong switch. Alright, smack that. Smack of this. Smack your friends. Smack your nose. And then smack your friend's nose. Actually, no, don't do that. It needs to be attached. This nose. This nose business that no one knows about. I'm going here. And collect the life. Get the bonus. Remember the bonus. Backwards. It's a knob. It's a knob. It's a knob. The onus is on your bonus. You get the nanos and the ruins and your ruins and your nanos in your face. Get out. Oh, wait. We're not there yet. Let's take an angry Aztec, but that's not there. That's somewhere else. Although it is on Donkey Kong Island, technically. But since when do video game locations stay the same? They never do. It got to a point where, you know, a dialogue-heavy game regarding that kind of phenomenon just ended up being part of the lore. I'm talking about Castlevania and how the castle keeps changing. It's like, they're just like, yeah, I don't know, it just changes. As, like, you don't see the excuse for Bowser's castle. Do you? Like, what's his excuse for suddenly turning into a, a Japanese village in the, in the air and calling it Bowser's Castle? Because that's technically not right. Alright. Uh oh. Those platforms gonna fall off. Ah, shoot balls! All right, these weird sun spike things. Don't touch them. They hurt. I, I guess it's the closest thing we're going to get to buzz saws, like in Mario World. That's that's pretty much what these are. I would say they call them fuzzies, but no. I know something in this game that's more like those, specifically in that one part in 3D World. All right. 
When do I go inside these ruins? I've just been outside the whole time. Eventually you go in. There'll be more in-store ruins. You know, you could blow out the candles one by one or do it all at once. Just to let you know. But the thing won't activate until all three are out. So make sure you blow all three. Come around the candles. Get your Hanukkahs. It's, yeah, it's the Donkey Kong's Torah. Donkey Kong goes to the temple and uh, practices Judaism. Yeah. Respect. Much respect. Donkey Kosher, they call him. Yeah. How dare you eat things with hooves? How dare you? <laughs> there's a class. There's a. Do there's a. Uh, there's an NES. Arcade Donkey Kong holding a Wiimote in the background, that's good. There's weird little inside jokes like that in this game, and that's one of them. <laughs> I remember this one being in the factory, though, too. That's a, It's an interesting joke. You might know what I'm talking about if you play this game. A, a reference, if you will, per se. What do you say to that? I say get in the barrel! Oh, wait a minute. Just as there was a before, there is an after. <laughs> now we've gotten the after, we can return. Before the start, after the end? Where does it all fit in the Donkey Kong timeline? Nintendo, please write an official Donkey Kong timeline regarding the ancestry of Cranky Kong down to the descendant Donkey Kong and if Cranky Kong's name used to be Donkey and to see if those are actually titles. Right? Yeah, so apparently at the ruins we just have modern technological buttons of sci-fi import. Wouldn't you like to know about all my buttons, sir? Uh... It's not like you're bashing a monster, you're bashing a button. Alright, so there's a puzzle piece there, but what you may not know is how to get it. Uh, I'll tell you. You just slam the wood out with your hands. It'll work. See? Ta-da! Of course, you have to move quick, otherwise you're gonna get hit by it, but yeah. And that'd be a weird way for you to die, by the way. It's like, oh no, the star of the level killed me, shit. I didn't even go anywhere. Come with me, Puzzle Piece, if you want to fleece. Yes. Alright, another th thing. Though those shoot automatically, you can control where you're going, kind of. And I want to go up here. There we go. Thank you. Kikolo san. Thank you for this great game. Arimas. I know. Yeah, I'm more of a sub over dub nowadays. I used to be dub, but that was before I learned how, you know, you get the off frames of subs, which they do on streaming services. Although I'm not sure how, uh, I forgot, Crunchy, how's, I don't know how Crunchyroll is nowadays, I'm not really sure on that. It's not like anime is restricted to the Crunchyroll, it's not. It's really not. Okay. This is the only part of the game where I have to slaughter hummingbirds. You think all you have to do is just stop them from flying because, you know, if a hummingbird stops moving, it's gonna die. Its heart beats too fast for it to not move. I, or, or some shit, I don't know. Anyway. The hummus bird, however, is a bird made of garbanzo beans. Was it really so... So challenging to your monkey mind? Monkey man! Yeah, that's me, the monkey man. Have a heart. Kevin Hart? Nah. Into the cannon. That looks like something could be there. Guess what there is. It just hadn't arrived yet. You had to tell it to waltz in there. 
hole in the wall. And to go with to how, think of how you got in there, you get to blast back and forth. Do not hit the middle. I swear I just did this last world, but here we are again. Da, 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 da. Feels like I just did it earlier. Get those nanners from your pajanners. <laughs> Chicken. You are the stilts that give me pause. Otherwise, enter the donkey claws. Uh, uh, upstate New York. Well, I'm from Donkey Kong, and I've never heard the phrase banana slammer. <laughs> no, not in Donkey Kong Island. It's a cruel island expression. I see. Thank you, Super Nintendo Chalmers. Ah, well, whatever. I had to off myself somehow. It just wasn't working out. I really needed that guy back so I could bounce off into the letter. That was awkward. Yeah. You don't need feathers. Feathers are for... Real birds don't need feathers. Because then that would just make them reptiles. Or dinosaurs. <laughs> Funny how that works. <laughs> Spin the wheel! Spin to win. Bonk the humming. Bird it. Oh shit! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. There he goes, there he goes. One more humming left. Down you go. Jim Cummings' bird has been defeated. Do ba ba dink I don't know what's with those rupees either. It's like bootleg chaos emeralds, maybe. Not really. Every emerald does not have to be chaos, you know. Oh, look, Bejeweled is just all about the chaos emeralds. No. Uh, you know what really gets on my nerves? Mobile games. It's not as if you can't make good mobile games. You can. But most of those they try to pass on to me from the Google Play Store are just, um... Total wastes of my time. Or... Yeah. You, you'd think they wouldn't be, but, you know, it ends up being like, Oh, this sounds cool. And then you try it, and it's like, Oh. You, you actually want money. <laughs> and then it's like, well, I'm, I don't see why I need to be let into it if I don't know if I'm going to actually buy it or not, you know? It's not the same way as how we feel about handheld games. I think that has more to do with how the Switch was made a thing. Because after smartphones, I guess the DS and the PSP realized, oh shit, we have a common enemy. And you know, well, I guess, I guess PlayStation stopped. I don't know if the PSP Vita stopped being a thing. Like, I don't know if that's still going or if PlayStation has any plans for that. But I know Xbox certainly didn't fucking bother with that stuff. And, you know, Microsoft. And then after, like, Nintendo's Game Boys and DS's, those lines, they just finally decide, okay, we're gonna make the mobile console the same. But then where do they go from there? I, I, I do wonder. They don't, they don't really have to go anywhere. I mean, I got enough games to last me for the rest of my life if no new Nintendo console gets released. Shame about how the Wii U turned out, though. Although, that was more of a problem of marketing. But also, the double screen business maybe wasn't what people... Like, it's not going to be games that actually do things the way Wii U does. But it's it was like... You know what the Wii U's like? The Wii U's like when you're watching a movie, but you're not not really paying attention to the movie because you just want to, like, just kind of glide through without worrying about it too much. And so you go onto your smartphone. That's exactly what playing the Wii U is like. You look at the big screen, and then you're like, wait, I need to actually look at the little screen for a little bit. <laughs> and you just go back and forth, and it was weird. That's the way of having, like, a DS console experience, I, sh I guess. Is that so wrong? Oh, yes, it's very wrong, my friends. 
Ah! Oh no! I don't know why, but I've been so hungry lately. <laughs> why am I hungry right now? It's all the banana talk. Mmm. Mmm. Con. All right. Blasting. So anyway, I started blasting. You know, got them chickens. Them donk. Those dong boys. You know those dongers. You know how they do. Now it's time for some classic Mega Man bullshit. Ha ha ha. You know, you know what I'm thinking. You know. Uh, well, one more puzzle piece, one more letter, and that's about all she wrote. The murders, that is. Yep. I think my, I think my mom liked murders she wrote. Yeah. That makes sense. She was into, like, um, also the like, law and order. So basically any crime dramas slash, like, you know, possibly detective stories. But in the context of crime dramas, I guess. Yeah, so... Imagine, imagine, imagine the fall. Consider the following. You're in a barrel, okay, and you have to time on a three-dimensional object in a otherwise two-dimensional game. You could be playing a Wii game and be full of shit. The Wii, aka the Nintendo Yes. That's right. I'm gonna drop a flat yes. They call me P.S. Herman. Or, uh... Yes Man. That's right. Alright! Cranky old bastard, give me my stuff. Give me the stuff. Come on! Also, how do you keep moving house? Does your house teleport? Name your price. The prices don't change. Not even... You think the prices of the keys would change, like they get more expensive each world, but no, they don't. So, just have at it. Yeah, I decided I'm just gonna fill up on balloons from now on. I may as well, I got the money. Kinda cheapens the balloon getting experience, but, you know, as far as I'm concerned, coins replace you, you realize what this means? It means coins act as like a suppository for even more lives. It's kind of like in Paper Mario Thousand Year Do Door when you buy gold bars, because the whole purpose of buying gold bars is to have a surplus of coins beyond 999 coins. That's their only purpose. Because you're not getting a return on those other than the fact that you're holding more than triple digit coins. That's about it. So that's what it's like with this, except instead of gold bars, it's banana coins, and instead of coins, it's lives slash red balloons. Do do do! Get to down with that clown action, clowning in my donkey clown. This <laughs> this Kong has no face. <laughs> No style, no grace. This Kong has no face. He has style and grace. This Kong is two face. Harvey Dong, attorney at at Kong. You know, it's kind of funny to have Harvey Birdman be an attorney at law. And then it's like, oh wait a minute, Harvey Dent's also the attorney. Apparently, every lawyer around here is named Harvey. What's up with that? Not a whole lot. Dun, 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 dun. Those cannons are going to fight. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on a minute. I'm not in World 2, but suddenly there's one of these levels. Okay. Okay. World 2 has not had enough of me yet. It's invading World 3. It's had enough of my shit. I see how it is. What a surprise. 
kind of a carryover from when Donkey Kong Country had level themes that passed over from world to world. Yeah, except they try to make sense of it by being like, why is there a pirate ship at the ruins? Well, because... Reasons! Shush! This will happen again later in the game. But it'll just be a random pirate ship level. You'd be like, why? Yeah, look at that. We're getting a camera without the walls being open to, like, drowning monkeys. How many rolls did it take to get to the center of a candy door? Two or three? I remember when I was younger, I mistakenly thought a couple meant three to four, because I didn't know what the word couple meant. I just thought it was, like, somewhere in between few and some. As a term. Oh my god. <laughs> Who would have guessed I was on to something? Uh, if only I'd known. You can't slam all those cannons, sadly. Mostly due to the lack of ground. Mm -hmm. This boat is over here. This is almost, almost sort of a freeform level when we get to the next ship. You'll see in a moment. Just want to make sure I had all my letters in a row before I go to the checkpoint. Oh no! I've killed Captain Crab! Wait, why do we have another Captain Crab anyway? Did they replace that... They must have just hired a new... They elected a new captain is what happened. So yeah, this part of the level is a bit more freeformish. Just a little bit. There's still a way out, but it's not quite as linear as you might think. Your goal is to actually go straight up, but still. Slamming! Alright. Oh, no, here we go again. There's dead fish hanging from a... Oh, interesting. So, there isn't a ruins theme. You get more of a pirate ship theme for this bonus part. That makes you think if I pay attention to each level, it'll explain how the bonus areas will look. Because this is not ruins. Again, this is a ship level. Whatever, dude. Come on, come on, a bump. Oh... Mm -mm. This crab is wanting you to go away. That's the crab I want. This is the crab for me. This crab wants you to die. This crab will want to lie. This crab wants me on fly. This crab is uh, going to lie. This crab just makes me sigh. This crab doesn't know why. This crab wants to fry. Hang on. I want to get over there. There we are. Yeah! One for the bow and one for the stern. But not that stern. We don't talk about that stern. Although, while I'm on that subject, uh, <laughs> I think I just real- yeah, like, the car we have does have XM. Or, you know, the Sirius, whatever you want to call that. And, like, I mean... Doesn't that feel, like, pointless now? Because I can just use my phone as an impromptu use an internet radio app on it and just hook it up to the car, so I don't know why I would need XM. Unless you just mean the satellite, in which case, oh, okay. So satellite transmitting something that isn't internet, because, by the way, satellites transmit internet, by the way. So... Yeah. Like, I've had experience with a few people using it and saw it in action, but I have never really, uh... Never really been using it all that much. I guess it's kind of how I think about Apple and it's like... Thunderbolt stuff replacement for USB. Oh, shit! Well then. Get your banana coins. Optimal. Optimal. Very good. This is the Kong that wants you in your way all the way long. Do, 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 do. Level is clear. That's what I hear. Level is clear. That's what I hear. 
Oh, brother. Oh, brothers in arms. We have mastered the blastered. Oh, that's a game I could play. Blaster Master? Uh... Yeah. Blaster Master Zero, in fact. I hadn't gotten around to getting the other Zero... Like, I tried the first Blaster Master Zero, and... Brilliant. Like, I'm not gonna do the New Game Plus mode, but I think I do want the other two that are available, so... I might give those a shot at one point. Or, like, try Bla... Yeah. It's on my list. Blaster Master. Um... So... It could be higher on the list. It's not. It's just a difficulty th thing. You understand. See you soon.